starting to bubble up this conversation around um, kind of a shift in investor priorities around sort of moving away from these high growth unicorns, uh, you know, the WeWorks, not, never IPO, but it was sort of like the, the poster child for uh, out of control unicorn or unicorn wannabe, whatever it was. Out of control capitalism, really. Yeah, yeah. To back to, okay, what are your unit economics? How are you going to make money? When are you going to make money? Et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, I, I, it's interesting to sort of talk about what's going to be the shake out of that and sort of in the area we cover, small business software. You know, there's sort of examples of both of sort of, you know, the companies that maybe have net, have a lot of hype, maybe a messianic CEO and uh, uh, huge growth ambitions, but perhaps no real path to profitability. And then more sort of companies that build great products, focus on CAC, focus on LTV, focus on the metrics that are important, grow smartly. Um, so we, we sort of represent both uh, but sort of interesting, what, 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 kind of what the fallout will be of kind of the crash that's been happening with, I mean, Uber hasn't crashed, but its IPO was disappointing. It's widely talked about as a business that has no prospects to make money. The WeWork yeah. was a fiasco. I don't think there's any other way to describe We can blame it all on Adam Newman or whatever. And the, the Well, he's an easy happened. villain. You know, he's a real easy well, villain. He was not able. On yeah. this thing. And why are they not being, you know, summarily, summarily being sort of vilified in public, on the public square? Because they watched this whole thing. And yeah. they're now about, they're- and They they're just handed them $1.7 billion to go exactly. walk barefoot through Manhattan. And, and, uh, and, and 2,000 people who had some probably little stakes of equity thinking mm -hmm. that they were gonna have a little outcome are gonna be on the street with no severance. I mean. Yep. I just, and, and you wonder, you know, we, you know, we, we watch enough of the politics stuff that, that you, it's no wonder that some of these, these, these questions around where we are in capitalism keep cropping up. It's, it's, it's what it was the board doing. Well, yeah, I mean, there was a, there's a clear uh, governance was one of the totally. failing cited around WeWork is that it had horrible governance. And then that was an issue with Uber as well. Um, so I, I think, you know, there probably will be a reckoning around more robust governance and less stacking boards with, you know, your pals, et cetera. I think the another other thing that the ahead. other kind of trend that we've seen, um, are these, as you put it, kind of messianic founders yes. that like after Steve jobs, I think Steve jobs kicked this idea back in that like the founder as, as eclectic and weird, they may be yeah. like, you know, it is like the, the leading choice to kind of take these companies into the stratosphere. And, and then you've seen that kind of over time, like, I guess, um, validated to a certain degree by some folks like, like Jeff Bezos. He's actually a positive example. But then you have Mark Zuckerberg that was working for a while. Now people are questioning him. So I think it's almost like that trend is reversing because you're seeing all these examples of that kind of when that goes wrong. And at a certain stage, you know, the, the paradigm used to be and still is in most circles of business at a certain stage of growth, you kind of turn the reins over the CEO position from the founder who was yeah. the right person in early stages, but isn't the right person to take it into like a hundred million dollar company and then a billion dollar company. And then beyond that, you need right. like, you know, a 50 year old CEO and not this 20 year old kid. There was a lot of Kool-Aid being consumed around, around WeWork. And I think the board got caught up in it. You know, I sit on, the, I sit as a, advisor as well as a board member and the last board meeting i went to where i'm actually a board member i asked tougher questions this time than i ever have because i was i got more tuned into i do have a fiduciary responsibility to the board as a board member to ask tougher questions you're, you're part of the governance of the company That's right. and it really heightened my awareness to all this stuff the we work stuff and, and I think that, you know, you know, if, 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 if something has let down U.S. corporate America, it is the boards as much it is, as it is the CEOs who run these things. Right. Another or, interesting, yeah. Another interesting angle is uh, who's, who's putting the money in because soft soft bank has been catching some heat. Right. Because it's uh, it's got this hundred billion dollar fund. Actually, I don't have a number in front of me. Vision fund, I think it's called. And, you know, its track record is 
not great. I mean, they're, they've been throwing good money after bad at WeWork, big Uber investor, I believe, big uh, DoorDash investor, <laughs> sensing a theme at all. And, uh, and I think they're getting a little bit of blame for sort of throwing just insane amounts of money at sort of unicornish companies with you know, these outsized ambitions, perhaps poorly governed, perhaps led by these messianic leaders and without real real attention to business models about growth at all costs. And I think there's a reckoning. Okay.